Professor Mechti Fati, I'm very happy to see you here in Heidelberg finally. Me too. I was meeting you three times in Iran. You are making similar congresses like I do here and you are a professor of anesthesia in cardiology. Maybe first tell us a little bit about the state of the art of hypnosis in Iran. I assume nobody in Germany and Europe is knowing too much about it. At first I uh, want to thank you for all of you are doing for hypnosis in around the world. You are, um, I think so, that you are uh, as a father uh, for hypnotherapists who uh, wants to grow up them all and uh, also hypnosis. Thank you for your, all of you are doing. Uh, as you know, uh, hypnosis in Iran uh, and history of hypnosis in Iran refers to uh, so many centuries ago. Uh, about uh, maybe more than 1,000 years ago. And we are uh, so many manuscripts that included that uh, hypnosis was used uh, as a therapy, as a better communication and effective communication with our philosophers and uh, our uh, old doctors, uh, as like as such famous as like as uh, Avicenna. He used hypnosis frequently for his patients. But scientific hypnosis in Iran uh, was started about uh, 25 years ago when uh, we try in Iranian Scientific Society of Clinical Hypnosis to organize hypnosis and hypnotherapy as a scientific branch of uh, Ministry of Health in Iran. <clears throat> and after accepted by Ministry of Health about uh, 20 years ago, we organized this uh, association as scientific. And within maybe 15 years, we trained more than 7,000 practitioners, mm -hmm. included uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, midwives, nurses, physiotherapists, medical doctors, and uh, also sportsmen. Uh, in Iran, uh, hypnosis um, was not routinely in therapy, but after we tried more and more and more hard and hard and hard, it, uh, it is um, as a routine therapy for practitioners, especially mm -hmm. in anesthesia and uh, also in psychiatry and psychology. When I was there, I heard they seen you a little bit like, like the father of Iranian uh, hypnosis. Yeah. So <laughs> you have been the start of, of many things which have been developed there. How, how your interest in hypnosis was coming? What was the starting point? In which way you have been interested in other states of consciousness? In, in my way, you mean? In, my, in, in, <laughs> in your own development? Yeah, yes, it is, uh, it is so long, long history. It refers to uh, my family attitude. My uh, father was working hypnosis uh, as conversational hypnosis. Um, I was uh, in childhood and I saw him frequently to help others with hypnosis. Uh, he uh, he didn't, didn't know this this phenomenon is hypnosis. And then I go to uh, I went to medical school and after uh, four years of study in uh, in the step of um, medical internship. I understood that mm, this is uh, um, novelty in sciences, and I tried to to be as a scientific man in this field. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I go, uh, I went to anesthesia speciality, and then sub speciality in cardiac anesthesia. I frequently used hypnosis instead of anesthesia and analgesia and uh, instead of so medications for controlling of pain and pain management protocols. Mm -hmm. Because uh, so, uh, there are so many patients 
who cannot uh, tolerate anesthesia drugs. For, for example, and they have allergy to drugs, they have uh, claustrophobia, for example, in a uh, tunnel of uh, magnetic resonance imaging findings and mm -hmm. diagnostic procedures as like as this. Uh, I uh, try frequently hypnosis for them. So you use hypnosis only in case of allergies and what I also see to demonstrate it is possible to no, convince people? No, no, people? no. The, that uh, refers to patient selection. Mm -hmm. If, pa if um, patients are, uh, suffer from a space of operation room um, or uh, they are scared from anesthesia and they are scared in, in their mind about anesthesia and operation room or they have a higher level of anxiety, I, I will do that. Yeah, I have seen some amazing films you have been sending me. I have seen you already, yeah. how you are working live. And I think there are not so many people in the world yeah. who have did so much in this field. As you know, so, so many of uh, my works in, in, uh, in the field of surgery by hypnosis uh, are the first time in the world. For example, uh, device removal of, uh, of the hand has implanted, uh, implanted for bone fracture five years ago. Yeah. And now the, it uh, would be uh, excision and uh, remove devices. This is so difficult surgery and uh, you need to silence the brain. Uh, we have biospectral index monitoring for monitoring of brain waves during anesthesia and we need uh, inject drugs to reduce the score of awareness from 100 or 97, 95 to uh, below than 40 with drugs. But uh, you can see in, in this procedure by hypnosis the, the patient is awake and the score is between 97, 95, 92 to 100. And he has no pain, no change in rhythm of uh, the cardiac uh, heart and also heart rate. Mm. These signs, uh, and, and also is talking about uh, his calmness with you, with surgeon, with uh, staff. And this is uh, power of hypnosis mm -hmm. and power of brain we should discover unconscious mind because it is so powerful. So you are specialist in anesthesia and have a lot of experience and have did amazing things there. What else in the field of medical hypnosis outside psychiatry and psychotherapy uh, midwives you mentioned? What in medical hypnosis is, is going on in Iran. All of the uh, psychiatrists who trained by, uh, by me and my colleagues in Iranian Scientific Society uh, can use hypnosis in their practice for neurotic patients, uh, a little for psychotic patients also, mm -hmm. and for uh, children with psychiatric disorders for example, for um, changing attitude, uh, in, uh, enhancement of learning power and uh, ego strengthening for them. Mm -hmm. Also, midwives uh, use for childbirthing without pain, yeah. for vaginal delivery and also for cesarean section. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is uh, so um, a specific procedure and it needs to um, more experiences about hypnosis because as you know it's uh, it's so critical f phase in uh, vaginal delivery to um, to birth a baby and uh, maybe the oxygenation uh, would be harmful for baby for long life have you been able 
also to get the cardiologist interested to lowering blood pressure or to stabilize heart rhythm. Is there something going on in cardiology which is yeah, interesting? Not, not only in uh, reducing blood pressure. As you know, essential hypertension can treatment uh, can treat by hypnosis. Uh, we have used uh, so many patients who need to cardiac surgery, uh, hypnosis as a um, premedication. Mm -hmm. A night before surgery, uh, we hypnotized the patients and uh, getting his um, their their uh, anxiety and stress. And we can show uh, when they go under surgery, we use lesser drugs for controlling their hemodynamic stability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, they have uh, lesser pain in, compars in comparison with others. This is power of hypnosis. Mm -hmm. you, uh, as you know, uh, you can condition the patient for post-operative pain ma management, post-operative uh, nausea, post-operative discharge also. Hypnosis can uh, reduce hospital fees because the discharge would be sooner, discharge of hospital would be sooner and this uh, reduces expenses of hospital stay. Do you also have uh, in Iran a neurologist? Is somebody working in this field in Iran? Not f uh, full success in these fields because uh, they are entirely somatic. Um, oriented. Yeah, optimal. oriented. Yeah, by, yeah. But uh, for example, after cardiopulmonary resuscitation, uh, so many patients have uh, going to PTSD and hypnosis can control that. Okay. We use the hypnosis for endoscopic surgeries, for end endoscopic diagnostic um, gastrointestinal uh, investigations. We, hypnosis, we use hypnosis for dressing uh, in burn patients, in mm -hmm. deeply burn patients. You know, uh, changing of dressing is so painful mm -hmm. and hypnosis mm -hmm. could control their pain. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, have done hypnosis as an anesthesia technique for inguinal hernia, for post-operative pain analgesia, for uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Cholecystectomy is a big and painful surgery. But uh, when I use hypnosis before surgery, uh, we use uh, hypnosis and see lesser pain sensation, also painless mm -hmm. period of uh, recovery room and after going to the ward. Mm -hmm.